four. Let's do number five here. Kind of speeding through this one as well. This is good. Good stuff here. So it's asking what number should be added both sides to the equation to complete the square root. So I have x squared plus 12x equals 11. So in order for me to first complete the square, what I have to do first is I have to move 11 to the left side here. So I have x squared plus 12x, and then I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides, right? Which equals 0. So I have this here. This is my equation here, and they want us to complete the square, right? So in order for us to do that, <coughs> what we're doing is we are, <coughs> sorry, we are taking our b value, we are dividing it by 2, and then we're squaring it, right? So we have x squared plus 12x. 12 divided by 2. Tw well, 2 here is 6. 6 squared is 36. So plus 36 minus 36 minus 11 here equals 0. So then, again, now we have our perfect square trinomial seated here. And then we have something left over. This will be the vertex form of our of our question here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to solve for this question here, but um, the answer is already 36 here. Uh, th that's the kind of number uh, to be added to both sides to complete the square. 36 here is our equ equation, but I'm going to solve for it anyways. So I have x squared plus 12x plus 36. This is a perfect square trinomial. So I know that here this is x plus 6 squared, and then I'm left with negative 36 minus 11, which is negative 47 equals 0. So this here is my vertex form, and I've successfully completed the square. And again, if, so if I want to complete the square, I'm simply just adding 36 to both sides of the equation here. So 36 is our answer for this question. And they have here, therefore, we add 36 to both sides to complete the square. This solution here is correct. We got the exact same thing, x plus 6 squared uh, mi uh, minus 47. And uh, what we can do with this equation, if we want to make it like very similar to this one, is we can actually move 47 to the other side, right? We can say x plus 6 squared equals positive 47. And if you compare this uh, with this one here, 11 and 47 has a difference of 36 here. And this solution makes it correct. So that's just double checking my solution here. But this solution is correct here. So great solution analysis here. Solution here is correct. So that's five. <laughs>